All right, guys, we are back. So I have uh, gone ahead and got my new uh, Selkid called Sirena, as the other one just had. I couldn't, I couldn't accept the uh, adamant nature r reducing its special attack since it's a special attacker. It's not particularly strong. Special attack is more defensive than it is anything else. And I just realized my mic was not in my face, so you may or may not have heard any of that. So uh, we'll see what happens and whether I actually use this footage. But yeah, I'm trying to catch an Eevee and uh, the Cell Kid I'm trying to recatch because its nature is terrible if uh, you guys didn't hear that one. So that's the plan right now. All right, guys, we uh, caught one, level 33. I'm going to call her Sirena. Haven't checked the nature yet, but uh, hopefully that's... Uh, that's all we need. But uh, it's now got a lonely nature, which is increased defense, lower attack. I'm fine with that. But uh, yeah, minor special attack was just going to be awful. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be our water fairy type, which is definitely special focused. So um, yeah, it's got cute charm, so it can cause infatuation, which is kind of useful. And uh, I've given it a couple of moves. I've given it surf, so Gyarados can have a different move. Um, so it's got dazzling gleam, water pulse, surf, and hidden power. Um, I believe I've changed Gyarados so he no longer has Surf and has Dragon Rage, which can be useful for catching Pokemon to only do a certain amount of damage, which is good. But yeah, um, so that's all good. I've given it the Soothe Belt, as I believe this one evolves from High Friendship. So it might take a while to evolve, but um, keeping it in the party, battling gym leaders, um, maybe go to the casino, might do some Pokemon grooming, get it some extra points. But, uh, yeah level up its friendship a little faster um but yeah so should be a fun valuable team member um Trillard was useful but not honestly not as much as i would have liked so um yeah swapped him out um but still planning on getting a nuclear at some point so i'll have to see who uh who i swap out for now but um yeah team's pretty good so i think we should uh, continue exploring venice city See what we can find. Okay. I'm concerned about the nuclear meltdowns that have been happening around Tandor. Did you hear they had to evacuate Vineville? Two power plants falling so close together. There's no way that's a coincidence. It is not a coincidence, I'm sure. The gym leader. Supposedly, they're a master of deception in disguise. I guess it works, because I have no idea who they are. I'm guessing they'll have uh, a similar Pokemon to the... Uh, when we fought on the route down here, the one that had the illusion ability. A gym in an opera house, huh? Those slippery fools sure are hard to navigate. That ah, should be a fun little gym puzzle, I'm sure. Okay, let's keep going. Ball over here. Take that out. M63 Embargo. Probably not that great unless you're looking for competitive, but there you go. Say. Do you know a Pokemon called Titanice? I'm searching all over one. I'll trade you a Gargriff in exchange. You know, I believe I have one of those. Not with me, but I have one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go trade her, trade her a Titanice and um, we can get a cool new Pokemon. Probably won't end up using it, but why not? There's Pokemon. Da, da, da. There's our Titanice. Move. Swap out Siren Tide for now. Sirena. Place. Okay. So it should add to our Pokedex, which would be great. There we go. Goodbye, Titanice. Gargoyle looks pretty cool. It's like a, a gothic stone gargoyle. Take care of him. Woot, I have a happy... I'm... Ah, woot, I have a happy Titan Ice now. Well, I'm glad she's happy. Let's have a look at this guy. Uh, one, two, 
party shift. Let's, let's have a look. Rock type Cecilia Cargo. Great name. Or Gargo. More cute. Quite nature. Likes to thrash about. Increase speed, lower special attack, rebuild, restores the point when not damaged on the turn. That's pretty cool, actually. Headbutt, rock throw, torment, stealth rock. That's actually a very cool Pokemon. There you go. Cool. Let's keep exploring. See those statues? They are said to be the watchers of the city. Which statues? I've seen those statues. Let's see. Why would you train any Pokemon besides Starter? What's the point? Well, when you're speedrunning a game, maybe, but otherwise you've got to have a good variety of your teammates. Otherwise you can get swept by a Pokemon because you can't hurt them. My children won't stop playing these video games. I have to force them to play outside. That's the struggle of these days. I have new Pokemon games, gold and silver. My friends are all jealous because they don't have a, gym, a Game Boy Color. Those were the days. I started with Gen 1 when it first came out. Well, not first came out, Game Boy Color came out. And uh, it was pretty awesome. Mm, let's talk to this guy. Darn rats, this city's infested with them. They leave their scribbles all over the walls. This is the pub. Go and see uh, see what's up in here. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Don't take no disrespect from rats like you. Yeah, well. well I'm not gonna stay in on that because that's just asking for. Uh, good bit of free experience there. Switch. I might, I might do a little bit of switch training just to get this guy up a little bit more so he's more useful. Particularly as I know uh, Satan Paws is quite capable of knocking these guys out pretty fast. It takes a little bit longer in the battles, but usually it's worth it in the end. So, yeah, got a holding the Soothe Bell so that pretty much everything we do will uh, increase its friendship, which is always nice. But uh, it means switch training rather than um, uh, just giving the EXP share. So. Yeah, some sort of ice move. I highly doubt at this point in the game they've got an ice beam. Ooh, right. oh, okay. It's not super effective because of the steel type. I like it. Uh, let's get your drain to get some health back. Well, it's less than I thought, but... Couple more of these and uh, should be able to take it out. Mm. 
Yeah, I always thought Astral Crash had a low, a less than perfect um, accuracy, but it seems to hit, what, four or five in a row? No. Oh. Double up. Excellent. There we go. Here for a drink. Wait a minute, you seem a little bit too young to be drinking. Well, they're not wrong. I am, what, 10, 12? Want some carrot wine? Don't tell anyone about this. Yes. How may I serve you? Carrot wine. Delicious carrot wine. Be careful not to drink too much. Yield 100% and cure satisfaction. Yeah, that seems pretty useful. I can get my Pokemon a little bit drunk. But not tell anyone else. Okay, let's see if there's any more guys in here who want to fight, but I'll move this guy out front. I saw it. Why won't anyone believe me? Listen, kid, you seem like the type to believe a cry-crazy story. Of course. So, I was walking the pier late last night, and I'll be honest with you, I've already had a few. When suddenly, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something moving. Heard it rustling and all that. Then I hear the sound of little feet, like it's running away. So of course I had to chase it. All of a sudden, I'm in a dark alley I ain't never seen before. But there's no sign of the thing. And then I hear a growl behind me. It was a feral tan skewer, and I swear it on me life. That thing was this big thought for sure I was a goner when this big pink thing with wigs and horns and bunny ears and webbed feet like a gold duck appears out of nowhere and kicks the mongrel so hard it runs away whimpering then the thing turns me and I'll be honest it's Arceus I was dark and I wasn't seeing straight but that thing it opens its mouth and says to me it says Jim you're a drunk and the next thing I remember I was waking up in my own bed it wasn't a dream. It was too real. I just wish I knew what that thing was. Can you help me? Do you know what it was? Hmm. Well, it's none of these ones. Nope, that weren't it. You're pulling my leg, chum. So obviously you've got to uh, find a, the Pokemon that he's talking about and then show it to him. So we'll, uh, we'll do that at some point. Uh, saved in a bit, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Another fight. For all these sailors, typical. You think you have what it takes to challenge a tough guy like me? Yeah, I do. Carol. Interesting. Rock and grass, I think. Bring out this guy, why not? Trap hammer is uh, just a strong move. Revenge. Nope, not too perfect. Beauty Azalea. Ooh, interesting. Male and female types. Jack Dairy. Let's go. Just some clean. Let's take a look. That is so much damage. <laughs> Yikes. That blew a fair bit. Ooh, wow. Yeah. 
Okay. So it is weak to fairy. That's interesting to know. Very interesting. Let's uh, see. Hidden power. Uh, uh, let's take it out. Don't tell my parents I'm here, or else. School Kid Harold. I really want to know what type this thing is. I think it's Poison Dark, maybe? Or Poison something. Uh, probably means it's going to obliterate me. But I'm going to see if we can do some gleam and see what happens. So increase its defense. Good thing that it's special. No, resisted, so it's probably Poison type. Yeah, let's do Drain punch. Poison fighting, maybe, who knows? Air Flash, see what it does. Looks like it's fighting, because it's got fighting type moves, but... It's not weak to it, so... Interesting. Knocks it out anyway, so we're all good. Things up to 39. Uh, having leftovers is just so useful. Gargrant versus Rock type. Uh, so we do want to swap. We should be able to get some good XP out of this, maybe. Good for Surf. Ooh, gross. Uh, speed, attack, and defense. Attack and defense. Cool. Good thing we're special. Surf is just such a powerful water move. Yeah, I need to find good rock types to train this guy up on. But save that for a little bit later. Well, that was fun. Eh, yeah, may as well go back and heal since it's right here. to those two when we first arrived. Uh, ah, that's the guy right there. Cool. Let's have a look in some of these houses. Not sure we went into any of these ones. Ahoy there! I sail this boat back and forth from Vinici City to Bill Beach City. If you want, I can give you a lift for 500. Would you like to go with it? Not just yet, but that is good to know. Because uh, I believe after this gym, we can... Um, Go around and got some options. That's very, very useful. Saves uh, traveling all that way by ugh, by actual sea and encounters. I'd sacrifice anything to see my daughter's eyes open again. She is asleep. Nikki, sweetie, can you hear me? It's no good. She won't wake up even when I shake her. Sometimes she'll toss and turn and talk in her sleep. I think she's having some kind of dream. Only there's a way to go into that dream and find out what she won't wake up. I wonder whether you can use Dream Eater? I'm not sure. Interesting. Might have to come back to that one. Sounds like a little fun side quest. Venetia is known for many things. Art, theater, and most importantly, the canals. No, they're not wrong. There are canals. Doesn't it look like those statues blink sometimes? Hmm. What's in here? 
Hey, you look like a country trainer. I recently took this Eevee off, in off the streets, but I'm an old woman. I can't look after it. Will you give it a home? I'm going to say no for right now. Because I'm going to try and reset for a good nature on this Eevee and see if I can uh, get a Nucleon of some sort. So um, with that, I will be back in uh, a little bit once I've got a good Eevee. And see you guys soon. All right, guys, we are back after about five minutes resetting. I uh, got an Eevee called Nuke that has modest nature, so increased special attack, and that's exactly what I wanted. It was timid, modest, whichever came up first. So that uh, increases its special attack, lowers its attack, so it's the most useful for it. Aside from timid, increases speed, lowers attack, so that you're faster. But this guy will hit really hard. Ability adaptability means uh, stab moves that um, yeah stab moves to get double damage rather than 1.5 times so normal attacks will do a lot but as I believe we'll get a different ability as Nucleon which is what my plan is for this guy so um, yeah that is good good news so I'm going to talk to some of these guys and then um, yeah might might work on getting that Nucleon after the gym leader and um, yeah, we'll see. There's no point taking a low level EV into a, a gym, but um, yeah. EV is a Pokemon that's full of potential. It can evolve into seven, no, eight maybe. Even nine different forms. I believe the ninth form is uh, actually nuclear. Here, trainer, take these. Obtain Ice Shard. Moss Shard. Pretty Ribbon. Level up your Eevee while holding one of these items and it will evolve. So I believe that is for Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. I believe this is called Eevee House. Stones. I've got so many stones. Look at all my stones. I'll share my stones with you if you can solve my riddle. Sure. Let's see what we can do. Water, thunder, fire, dark, light, cold, warm, love. And one more. Who am I? Listen to that one again. Eevee is working on it so that's going to contain a fire stone. Hmm. Okay then. Didn't know that I'd said the right thing, but there you go. Come back, you want to try out another one. Cool. I'll take it. So now we have all the options, but uh, I believe Nucleon is the one I'm most interested in. But, uh, yeah. That I believe you need a nuclear Pokemon in the party for. But I have plans for that one. So I've done a little bit of research into it, and to get some of the good abilities um, or good moves, you need to give them to Eevee first. Which means I need to move Tutor, and I believe I need to get to the, be on my way to the next gym to be able to get the right moves for it. So I'm going to put it back in the box for now and um, work on that one later. That one. Store. There we go. I should have just got a move. Uh, that's the one. Okay. Cool. Right. There's a couple more things to uh, check. And uh, I think it's time for the gym. Let's talk to you first. Have you gone for a ride in the gondola yet? You must try it. I saw it. I saw a white bird Pokemon, but then it disappeared. There's a little bit of subtle foreshadowing there for uh, the upcoming gym. Let's see what this old guy's got to say. Here now, you look like a bright young trainer. I consider myself to be an expert on Tandor myths and legends. Would you like to learn about the legendary Pokemon of the Tandor region? Baitatao. Ah, Baitatao. That's a well-documented one. Baitatao is said to be a giant serpent Pokemon that lives at the bottom of a river in East Tandor. Although there are records of it traveling to West Tandor as well. It's supposedly a fire and water type Pokemon. The 
the heat from its scales gives life to the river and makes the waters glow bright at night. Although there are some tales of boats going missing in the night when it gets hungry. Would you like to hear another? Perhaps another time, old guy. I might come back and uh, start tracking these down and hear all of your stories. When I'm a Pokemon master, of course. Okay, what's in here? No there. This house is full of theater enthusiasts. We all live in Benicia because we love the stage. Five years ago, I could never dream of being an actress. They didn't allow women on stage. Something changed that, though. Interesting. They used to say that women performing in the opera was indecent. That's no fair. It's, in fact, quite true. Historically, women were not allowed. Men had to dress up uh, to play all women's roles with wigs. They say that the gym leader is also a star in the theatre, though I don't know who it is. Interesting. I do ha like how the uh, the gym so far have been theatrical, in, or thematic rather than theatrical, where the um, the Pokemon in them aren't necessarily one type or specific type group. They're uh, more about the feel and theme of the Pokemon than the actual type, which is very cool. But yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I think I'll keep it there for now. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.